Alright guys, so this 1666 key card runs quite hot. I think we're actually reaching 72, 71C when I was playing Metrodos earlier. Now, what can you do about this? Well, in this video, we're gonna do a teardown on this GPU. We're gonna take this cooler apart and we're gonna try and see if we can apply some new thermal compound on it and see if we can fix this problem. And you can do this too. I wanna show you guys how you can do this. Let's get into it. Hey, what is going on guys? Robin here. In this video, we're going to do a teardown on this VGA GTX 1060 to see if we can fix the notoriously load load loud fan i should say hopefully making a graphics card that is worth playing on because right now i cringe every time i look at it now a few things here to have in mind before you take your graphics card apart so different brands has different rules when it comes to teardowns like this and i know for a fact that this 1660 card has a sticker over one of the screws saying that if you try and take this cooler apart you're going to void the warranty basically so i do strongly recommend googling what rules applies to your card that being said the vga is pretty nice in this apartment as they allow you to do simple modifications such as changing cooler and clean it without messing with warranty also brands usually offers up to one two three years of warranty and so if your card is older than that this shouldn't matter anyways right so there are several benefits with taking the card apart and applying new thermal paste on it the thermal compound degrade with time and we have seen countless examples of a sheet thermal compound but my idea here my hope i should say is by cleaning off the old thermal and applying some amx 4 from arctic hopefully we're able to lower the temperatures by a few degrees now before you start i recommend looking up on youtube for a teardown video of your specific card because oftentimes someone has already done it and that will save you time and so before we get started i just want to show you guys this is what it sounds like when gaming as you can see we're looking at close to 100 load on the gpu right Right now welcome back guys we're playing a bit of metro exodus and uh, it's getting hot ouch hot as hell as you can see we're playing around in the 70 region right now 71 c and it's um, it's rather smooth gameplay 100 load and 71 c so what can we do about this one thing's for sure we can't fix the frame rate <laughs> unfortunately but perhaps hopefully most likely maybe we can fix the fan noise it should be added that there is no overclocking done on this card whatsoever <laughs> Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. i did actually uh, go to spanish classes uh, in high school and i can i think i can count to five at least Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. now it should be loose Let's see. Let's see if it is. Cool, nice. Wow. <laughs> we got a ton. Let me repeat that. We got a freaking ton. Look at that. Wow, that is... Okay, so I should add, guys, that this card... I bought this card from the used market. I have no idea what this guy was thinking, but he obviously went way overboard with this. Okay, anyway, we're gonna clean this off. We're gonna apply some new, fresh thermal compound. Hopefully, we'll see a better result this time. Lower temperatures, lower fan noise. Hooray, right? Let's get to work. And... Uh, I highly recommend picking up some, it's called Ipa Clean, uh, but I think you pronounce it isopropanol. <laughs> Isopro God. You can pick it up at any grocery store, I, I, I think. Uh, that's what I did at least. It's gonna do a pretty, pretty alright job. Cl clean as clean AF. So let's put some new thermal compound on it and see if we can get this uh, baby back on track again so, so you don't want to make the mistake that this guy did i like to use some form of credit card or something to spread it out you, you don't have to do this but it's not a terrible idea if you want to make sure that you um that you don't miss uh, any spots obviously you don't want to go too much so just enough to uh, cover the whole die right so we're gonna put this back now and we're gonna try it out See if it works, see if it fixes any of the issues. I'm actually very excited. So as you can see guys, after have been playing for a few minutes now. We can see that the temperature is back to 70 C again. How unfortunate. There is however a way that you can fix this noisy fan sound. 
uh, although we didn't fix the temperature this time and and it's pretty easy i'm gonna show you guys it's actually very easy i'm gonna show you guys how you do this so you need to quit fortnite first so what you want to do is you want to download a software called msi off the burner this is what it looks like once you download it you want to fire it up and if you take a look at the in the middle here you see something called fan speed and as you can see here it is now in auto you can however set up your own profile here if you click this cogwheel here first and foremost you want to click this bigger one and you want to go over to fan here you want to enable this and here you can set up your own fan curve and by doing this you can sort of avoid this uh, noisy fan coming to life by uh, making up a steeper fan curve like this let's see so at 70 let's see here 60 percent this is where my fan starts to get annoying so i want to drop that down to maybe 40 percent and leave it at 40 percent all the way up to let's say or so 75c so you want to create your own fan curve something like this in case your fans uh, tends to get very annoying after that what you want to do now is you simply want to click on this cogwheel here now generally speaking graphics cards can get pretty hot without you causing any harm to it in fact nvidia are stating that 98c is the throttling limit and once you reach 98c this is where the graphics card will start clocking itself down to avoid any damage to the core and this is also known as thermal throttling but as long as you avoid getting too close to the throttling limit you're going to be fine here i like to say anything below 80c is what i like to try and recommend and to try and stay under just to avoid getting too much heat inside your case and yeah that's basically how i like to do things play around with this until you find something that works for your card again in my case at 60 percent this is where i start getting that irritating clicking sound from my fans and below 60 percent i i am almost unable to hear my fan spinning at all so 60 percent is my sweet spot here now be sure to not go too aggressive here also you don't want to let the graphics card get too hot again atc is where i have my sort of limit so to speak and yeah that's it hope this video was helpful i'm gonna be back guys with a brand new video in just a day or two until then have an awesome day right